Hi, welcome to PM Studios Photoshop Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do cobbing in Photoshop. It's going to be a relatively short um, tutorial. The, this isn't going to be creating anything, it's simply going to be modifying someone else's work or a photo that you took yourself. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open a photo that you would like to cob. And now understand understand what cobbing is, is it's simply taking something out of a photo. So like for instance me, I've got a picture of a, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel from Fallout 3. Um, I want to take him out of this gritty background. So that's exactly what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how to do it efficiently. Um, there's two ways of doing it. There's the short way, but also not as precise. And then there's the long way, but it re yields better results. It all depends on how much time you're willing to put into your project. So. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do it the long way, and then the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do it the, um, how to do it, well, I'm going to show you how to do it the short way first, and I'm going to show you how to do it the long way last. And I probably won't go all the way through the long way, I'll just probably do it so that you get a better understanding. So the first thing we're going to do is after we've opened our picture, sorry it's stretched out, it's not as big as on the screen, but we're going to fit it to the screen, and sometimes you're going to want to go with a bigger image than I have. If it's bigger than your screen resolution, that's perfectly fine. Just go to the Magnify tool and click on Fit Screen, and it'll fit the screen just like it did mine, regardless of whether it has to shrink it or increase the size. Shrink it or enlarge it. There you go. And then we're going to click the Quick Select tool, which is right here. It's right under the Lasso tool and right over the Crop tool. So, and just click on the quick select, and if you have the magic wand, um, go ahead and right click on it like that, and then go to the quick select tool. And um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to set the brush size to about 30, for starters. And then you're just going to select areas, and as you can see, I just selected his entire eye, and you can keep doing that. And just keep clicking, you don't have to hold down shift or anything. I'll, but, for reference, shift is add and um, control is minus, or alt is minus. Um, so if you want to subtract anything from your uh, from your image, like I'll have to take that out right there later, um, you push alt. But anyway, so we're just going to select this entire person. Don't worry about if it uh, selects some of the background. We can fix that easily. And... The majority of the time you'll be using this to select people, and then you're going to select his gun. And we may have to go to a smaller brush to select these uh, finer uh, finer items, or I can just do it the lazy way. And be sure to get all of his body, even these little uh, little clips of like his hand that keep getting skipped over and so on and so forth and da 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 da. Okay, so now that we've got the whole person selected, um, now is the time for finer uh, finer touch-ups. So we're going to switch our uh, brush diameter to 10 and we're going to hold down Alt and get rid of the stuff that we don't want. So if you screw up, just push Control alt z or Control z and back up a step. Um, so there we go. And then we're going to subtract all this background right here. And so as you see, I'm just clicking on the stuff that I don't want in the image, and it's getting rid of all that stuff from the selection, so that we only get out what we want to get out. And this is going to be really sloppy, but I'm just trying to give you the idea, because I need a lot of time for the, the last bit. So, and then we're going to get rid of this stuff, and it goes faster with this smaller area, and blah blah blah. Okay, so that's taken out, and for this one you could probably actually go back to your 30 point brush just to speed things up. So, just take out this big old chunk of background right here. There we go. And um, that looks like he's just about all selected. I'm going to go back to a 10 point brush, or a 10 pixel brush, and do some last minor touch ups again, like adding in the rest of his oscilloscope or whatever it is, his light source. Um, I missed a spot right here, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And there's a little bit of the aura around him, the, uh, the, the bloom, right there. And a little bit right there, so we get the, the whole gun, and not just part of the gun. And 
we could probably get rid of a tiny bit here and a tiny bit there. Okay, so we've practically got this entire guy selected um, with a few exceptions of a couple things. Hmm. Alright, so that's about as good as you can get it. And bear in mind that once you cut the person out, you can always do more minor touch-ups. And it'll probably be easier at that point because you can go down to an even like a five pixel brush and do even more finer touch ups. So after we've selected him, we're just going to push Control X and then push Control N. Or cancel. New. All right, Control N for new. And you don't have to change the width of the height because it automatically it calibrates itself to the size of whatever you're copying. And so there you go. You've got this guy all copied. And if you notice with the lazy way, which is with the um, the sele the quick select tool, it's gonna leave little smudges like right here. You can just go in with a white paint brush and brush them out. And like uh, right here, it's a little blurry. Um, so things like that. That's that's the easy way. Now I'm going to go back to my Fallout picture and Control Z, and then Control D to deselect after I've got him back on the screen. And now we're going to go over here where the Layers tab is, and we're going to go all the way over to the Paths tab, Paths, and then we're going to click on New Path, which is right there, and you'll see it opened up with Path One. And we're going to go to um, the Pen tool, which is right here, and looks like a little inkwell pen and we're just going to pick a point of reference to start with so like I'm going to start right here at the top and then you're just going to make points and go around his body and this is why it yields better results is because you can um, appeal to the curves better like um, if you say you want to wrap around his helmet like that you can just click and hold when you make the point just click and hold and then rotate your mouse and it'll bend the uh, bend the line so that it fits better um, it's a lot more time consuming, there's a lot more room for error, but it yields much better results because you can actually uh, fine tune the curves and such. And so, you get the general idea of this, and I'll try to go fast on this one. Again, it'll probably come out really sloppy. And sometimes the curves will get so extreme that it'll throw your next dot out of whack. If you do, if that happens, then you've got too much space between your dots, and so just make more smaller, uh, most more smaller dots between your points, like um, right here. If you click right here on his sleeve, you can tell that it, it uh, chops out a little bit of his his glove right here. So we don't want to do that. We want like right there, and then you can go up here and take care of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Bend it, and then we're going to go up here. Yeah. So you get the general idea. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I hate to cut it short, but I just, I'm just i running out of time. So I hope you guys get the general idea. After you do that, you're going to right-click on it and click Make Selection, and then New Selection, and then you can cut it out just the same way. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.